Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to television. Ah, very exciting. Um, where are you all from? I heard, I heard Portland, and I heard Earth. New Rochelle. Who is who is not high right now? Okay, sorry. That's that's as that's as blue as we're gonna go. <laughs> okay, so you're from New Rochelle. No. No. So, oh, I get it. We have people from different places here. Okay, how many people are from New Rochelle? Me. Okay, a couple of. Young ladies over there, that's wonderful. Well, welcome. And, and where else? And when someone's from, who's, we have some, Buchanan? Like the president? No, like the bibliography. <laughs> okay. So we have Buchanan and New Rochelle. Croton. Croton. That's fun. It sounds like something I'd want to eat for breakfast. Get a coffee and a Croton. Okay. California. Yeah. California. That's pretty far away. Why are you out here as an exchange student? No. Glad that got a funny answer. Ooh, I'm from over there. Over there. Okay. Well, you know what? I feel like I've gotten to know all of you really great. Are you from Earth? I'm from. Let me tell you all about me. It's super exciting. Okay. My name is Bradley, and I am a train conductor and an aspiring comedian. Who has ridden the Metro North? Yeah? yeah? I'm a train conductor on the Metro North during the day, and then at night, I write jokes and tell them. Ha <laughs> ha So, aren't you guys in for a treat? Because today, I'm not conducting the Metro North train. I'm conducting you guys, the studio audience, which I like to call the fun train. <laughs> Oh, that was my biggest laugh line. I'm just gonna be uh -oh. back here, okay? Uh, what? I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run through these papers here. All right. Sure, Tamra, Keep do whatever you want. Keep up the good job. Okay. Hey, everybody, say hello to Tamra. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Isn't she wearing a nice blouse? Oh, thanks. That's fun. I like your hat. Oh, thank you. It's because I'm a conductor I on the know. Metro North. So but today, great. Tamra, I'm actually a conductor on the Fun Train. Yay. The TV fun train. I thought it was going to get a bigger laugh right. the well, second time. What is time. in your hand? Maybe that'll make that oh, oh, bigger oh, laugh. I forgot all about this. Yeah, look. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, look at. Okay, here. Oh, well, look at that. Huh? Oh, see? Look, that's there we perfect. Thank you so much, Tamara. Of course. Uh, I'm going to try that again. Um, oh, and the, wait, hold on. And then on the other side, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this thing is magic. It's magic. When you gave this to me, I really didn't think it was going to work. It's very powerful. Very powerful. Okay, here we go. The language, any language is powerful. Yeah, like French. Or even uh, Japanese or Chinese. All three very powerful languages. Aren't we learning a lot? We're learning. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hey, guys, I'm a conductor on the Metro North, but today I'm actually going to be a conductor on the fun train. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you like my hat? Uh, well, there we go. Okay, all right. You know, actually, I've got a couple of good train jokes. Do you want to hear them? Wait, do we, should we wait to roll? Yeah, sir? okay. Uh, what do you call a train that's loaded with bubble gum? Uh, choo choo train! Choo choo train! Uh, yeah, it's a choo choo train. That was. That was the that was the joke. Okay, well let's try another one. Um, okay, uh, what what uh, what do you how do how do trains hear what you're saying? Wow. With their engineer. I heard another person say my joke. Tamra, they know all of my jokes. Oh no! Well, you know what? I got one more, and this one's a real doozy. And I can guarantee that none of you have heard it. All right? What do you call a crazy train? Locomotor. <laughs> That's for that girl over there. Well, there you go, New Rochelle. Yeah, let's give it up for New Rochelle.
There you go. All right. Well, it looks like you guys are really warmed up, but we're going to try something. I'm going to hold up this sign, both sides, and when I hold it up, if it says laugh, I want to hear the biggest laugh you can give me, all right? And if it says clap, I want to hear the biggest clap you can give me. Can you guys do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, well, that was kind of all right, but I think you guys can do a lot better. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, that was really good. I like that. Okay, now let's switch it up. I'm going to put the laugh sign up. And when I put the laugh sign up, I want to hear the biggest laugh you can give me, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> That's good. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Screaming is not laughing, New Rochelle. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One more time. The biggest laugh you can give me. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, now the final thing we're going to do, and this is going to be so wild, is that I'm going to hold the sign up, okay? And I'm going to flip it back and forth. And you guys laugh and clap and laugh and clap at the same time. Can you do it at the same time? Yeah? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> You guys are great! Okay, well listen, I think we're all warmed up. Are you guys ready for the show? Yeah! yeah? You're ready for the show? Fantastic! Ladies and gentlemen, kids and gentlemen and ladies, and everyone from New Rochelle, here we go! It's the Tamran Gordon Show and Monkey News Source. Let's hear it up for Gordon! Yeah, it's the Monkey News Source! You wanted the greatest news show in the world? Well, you got us! It's gonna be awesome! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts, Gordon and Tamara! All right, all right, we got a studio audience. Let's Hi. clap it up, people! Hi, everybody! Hey, all right, studio audience! Studio audience! Hi, Tamara, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm great, we got a studio audience I today. Know. Hi, studio audience, Hi. how are you guys doing? Hi. All right, all right, so we got, we got a studio audience today from the we, we, want, we want to welcome them properly. Yes. They have three, they, three, three important things to know about this group. Okay. One, what? they brought us a box of cookies. <gasps> yeah. So check out, check out these cookies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these you guys. With a nice note tape. I'm going to take one out. Look, Look at, at that. this cookie. That's wow. a real deal cookie, man. Uh, you can't see Arthur yet. Oh, Arthur, Arthur's not eating Arthur's yet. Arthur's not eating yet. So we, like we want to thank you. Look at that overhead shot. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so yummy. I can't, I can't thank believe. you guys. I can't believe you guys made any of these cookies. I know. We'll these have some great. after the show. I know, I'm not going to eat one now because chocolate <laughs> hurts my throat while I talk. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to have that later. <laughs> so thank you guys. These, these cookies are from our amazing studio audience, the Destination Imagination team. So give you guys a round of thank applause for being so awesome. Now, this is important because each Imagination team has a different name. Okay. And these guys, these boys and girls What's are calling name? themselves... The best team ever. The best team ever. Did I say ever? that right? I love it. Duh. <laughs> Duh like best D -A, team ever. Duh. And they're coming from us. They're coming to us from the Hendrick Hudson School District in Montrose, oh, New York. Welcome, so welcome everybody. Shout out to you guys welcome. and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Our first ever studio audience. Very excited. And uh, is Arthur here? Let's 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 get a quick hello from Arthur, our announcer. Hello. Hello, Hi, Arthur. Arthur. How are you, sir? Look, how am I? How is this wonderful studio oh, audience? That's what I'm amazing. talking about. Yes, I'm so happy to be here today. What a special day! I, I know. know we got we got a crazy show ahead of us, mm. and uh, you know we'll, we'll get to some cookies later. Oh, um, look at those. Lots going on in the world today. Lots. Big announcement. What's the announcement? We, we tape on Tuesday. All right. The Bernie Sanders has decided to get back into the presidential no race. Right. Right. So that's a big one. Big right. story. Big one. Because I guess why? Because he's older and he's... Uh, he's um, or what, what's so big about it, Gordon? You know, I feel like... Well, it's big for me because I'm a big Bernie fan. Bernie fan. I like, I like what's going on with the burn. I feel yeah, the burn. You feel the burn. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the thing is, I, I, I'm not sure exactly why he got back in, except that he wants to probably, you know, fix the country. Yeah, probably. Do right. Yeah. You know? Humanity. And he's probably a little upset because of last time, you know? Right. It's yeah. like he didn't win the race last time. He didn't even get in the race last time. He tried. So, you know. That, that brings up a very good point, though. Um, this morning when I woke up, I too felt a burn. You did? Interesting. Yes. yes. Now, I felt it before about a month ago, and I went to the doctor. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me take a moment to remind you that our studio audience is mostly children. 
No, I, so. well, of course, no, it was on my elbow. Oh, oh some sort of a rash. okay. You got an elbow burn. Yes. Well, you know, if your elbow hurts when you do this, don't do that. Stop doing that. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so we got a lot of it great shows. It definitely shows still hurts. <laughs> well, you know, you might want to see a doctor again about that. That's what I did a month ago. Got oh. a little hanky. Hope you feel better. Yeah. I had but that. Anyway. I, got a little, I got a little tennis elbow. Yeah. So, needless to say, yes. Yeah, Tamara, does your, do your elbows hurt? I'm fabulous. I'm great. I don't hurt. I'm enjoying the, the winter. You know, the winter months are still here, but I'm kind of enjoying ice skating with the kids, you know, hmm. the huge. You fond of the ice skating? I am fond of the ice skating. I, I like find it to be quite dangerous. Really? It is. Yes. Well, the kids wear helmets now. Yes. Do they? Clap, clap in the audience if you've ever worn a helmet when you go ice skating. Oh, see? Yeah. That's a thing. It's a thing. Because when I was a kid, they, they could care less if you hit your head on something. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's almost as if they wanted you to hit your head on something. And they let you just ice, ice skate on ponds. Because it's just, it's just ice. But, but you can fall into the pond. You could. That, they, that's, they didn't care. That's, that's all true. Right. But you know, now we got uh, we got everything. Seat belts. Yes. Crosswalk everything. lights. Everything. You know. Crosswalk really? lights. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, they didn't have lights at crosswalks. Oh, right. You just walked. Right. And then, what, you know. Yes, one thing's for for me. When, whenever I uh, cross the street, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. what? Nothing. I'm just waiting to see what happens next. Whenever I cross the street, I too wear a helmet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good. Well, you know, Very safe. Well, you know, safety first. Safety That's what first. I always say. Yes. That's what I say too. Safety first. So you know, we got a great guest, and I, I want to bring him out right away because we got lots to talk about. Right. He's standing by live via satellite mm -hmm. from California, mm -hmm. which is very exciting because now we have the technology to bring in our guests. They don't have to be here live. Right, they don't have to be here live. They can be here live via tape. So uh, let's go ahead and um, run the package. Keith! Our guest tonight has been in numerous television shows and films over the past 30 years. He was the choreographer from the accidental comedy film Showgirls, is an alumni of the Groundling Theaters, was the wig master on Seinfeld, was a guest star on Ellen, had recurring roles on Mad About You and Curb Your Enthusiasm, Criminal Mind, Shameless, Last Man Standing, Pretty Little Liar, CSI, can be seen in Austin Powers, So I Married an Axe Murderer, and Transformers 4. He is the co-creator, along with Brian Henson, of the Jim Henson Company's puppet improv show, Puppet Up Uncensored. Please, welcome to Monkey News Source, Patrick Bristow. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Live via satellite. Live via satellite, we got Patrick Bristow. So we're going to have a few words with him right now. And, um, you know, I'm very excited because I've been following Patrick's career for quite some time. Yes, he's And, um, you know, Patrick, I I'm sure you're there. Uh, we, we can't thank you enough for coming on tonight uh, live via satellite. So, Patrick, um, let's get right into it. Tell us, uh, how did you get to start in acting? And, uh, you know, where did you get your comedic training? How did I get my start uh, acting? Well, um, my parents had been stage actors. That's how they met. So I grew up with a lot of their scrapbooks and stuff uh, in the house, and it kind of inspired me. I did school plays and things, but uh, my parents never let me do anything professional, for which I'm, I'm really grateful, because I would have definitely been one of those kids that grew up and robbed a convenience store. So Patrick, who were your comedic idols growing up? My um, comedic idols growing up um, were people like, you know, Carol Burnett, uh, Tim Conway, uh, Gilda Radner, the entire first cast of SNL. Um, Agnes Moorhead, of, of all people. Uh, in fact, I think a lot of my, uh, my comic idols were women, which uh, is probably one of the factors that led to me doing a lot of female characters at the Groundlings. I did Margaret Thatcher, Queen Elizabeth I, um, and um, uh, Jane Hathaway from the Beverly Hillbillies. Yes, Chief! Yeah. I actually looked, sadly, a lot like her in my 20s. How did you get involved with Stuffed and Unstrung with the Jim Henson Company? Well, um, it started out as a class. Uh, Brian Henson brought me in to teach improv to the puppeteers that he hired on a regular basis so that they could you know, loosen up, get more in touch with their own sensibility and, and, and creative side. And uh, they did really well. And uh, a couple months into it, I said, well, maybe we should do a little lunchtime performance on the lot for the other employees there, you know, just to give the uh, the students some kind of performance uh, experience and uh, then he scheduled a full out 200 person audience performance for industry on the soundstage at Henson. Yeah, he doesn't do things by half measures and uh, and that was the beginning of it and um, we've been going for, God, I don't know, 15 years now. I guess tell us a little bit about your friendship with Brian Henson. Uh, my relationship with Brian Henson is really a fun one. Uh, it's collaborative. Um, 
we don't pull our punches with each other. Uh, he's almost always right. Not always, always, but almost always. There have been a couple times that I've been right, and I, I wrote them down in my diaries back in the day, just so I could be sure to remember them. Um, he's a fun performer. He's collaborative. Uh, the entire process of creating Puppet Up, or Stuffed and Unstrung, as it was called in New York, uh, has been probably the most organic and collaborative thing I've ever been involved with. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a big Brian fan. Your career includes so many amazing roles on iconic shows. Tell us about working with Ellen DeGeneres oh, yeah. on, on the show Ellen. Remember that show? Yeah, that was awesome And, and you show. played um, Peter Barnes. Peter. And you know, what was your process like, I guess, creating that role for Ellen? So yeah, I, I got to do a, a lot of really cool roles on really cool shows. And um, I think that the turning point for me career-wise was Ellen. Uh, I, I did a guest star on, on the show once, and then they brought the character back over and over, so he became a recurring. And I wasn't really involved in the creation of him. They had fabulous writers who really detailed him. Uh, but in the coming out episode, uh, they asked me to go into the writer's room and tell them you know, some of my stories about you know, coming out and everything, which I did, and they incorporated some of that into uh, my character's uh, monologue to her about coming out. What you're hearing in the background is my parrot. Shut up, Irene. Uh, tell us about playing Troy on Mad About You. Hmm. An another show I got to work on was Mad About You. And again, I was brought in as a guest star um, to do a hotel clerk. And then the following season, they wrote the role of Troy uh, who worked in a campaign office that Jamie was working in, and I got to do a few episodes as him. And, and he was the complete opposite of my character on Ellen. He was uh, scheming and duplicitous and, well, evil, basically. And so that was a lot of fun. And I, I have a follow-up to that. Did, did you ever feel typecast, you know, by the sitcom world? You know, people sometimes ask, you know, uh, did I feel I got typecast? And... You know, I, I guess I did, but I am a type, and I'm just glad that I got cast, you know. Um, I was never going to be giving Bruce Willis a run for his money as, as an action hero. Um, so, you know, I worked within kind of the effective range that I could pull off, and, uh, you know, if people want to call that typecasting, they can, or you can just say, hey, Patrick's kind of limited. I think that might be more honest. So, Patrick. Yeah. Do you still get recognized for your role in Showgirls? That was the best. You know, that was great, because he was like, thrust it, yeah. thrust it, thrust it! <laughs> he was. You know, and he wore that funny Cosby sweater. I know, he nailed... So I'm wondering if, you know, you get recognized yeah, for that. Yeah, great part. Do I still get recognized from Showgirls? No, not really. Not, not, um, I mean, I don't look like that guy anymore. You know, he had bright red hair, was about 30 pounds lighter. Um, so I look like his dad. Uh, so I don't get recognized for showgirls anymore. But there was a period where I was recognized a lot and cars would drive by and people would shout thrust it out of the car or I love your work in showgirls. And um, <laughs> yeah, it was fun to be part of something that was just so undeniably problematic, we should say. And it's the best uh, conversation piece on my resume. So I have no regrets about it, except maybe not saving the wardrobe because uh, that cardigan was really snugly, you know and the mock turtleneck as well, but they, they kept it all. What do you think about the state of comedy uh, in the world today, like having to be PC? Mm, good question. Yeah. Uh, what do I think about comedy today? Uh, I think, one, there's so much of it, which is great. I mean, everyone can uh, shoot bits and put them on YouTube or um, you know, the various social media platforms. Um, in terms of PC, Sometimes maybe it goes a little too far, and sometimes I think it's really good. Um, you know, just reminding people not to be dicks, to punch upwards, not downwards. But it's completely subjective, so I think just we as a society have to continue duking it out. And people will make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I'm not going to tell you what they were, though. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us today. We can't thank you enough. It was such a great time. Uh, Gordon, I, I can't I wish he was here in person, but this was via satellite was still amazing. Yeah, Patrick, we're going to have to have you back live next time. So thanks for joining us, and we'll talk with you soon. <laughs> All right. That was nice. Yeah, that was really cool. That was Very awesome. cool. So, you know, we're going to try something completely different today. Okay. We, since we have a studio audience today, 
We're going to invite some of our participants of our audience. They're going to come up to the stage in just a few seconds, and we're going to play one of our favorite games. Yes. And I think actually you're going to host it. Yes. And, and our buddy Grandpa is going to come. Yep. And he's going to play with us. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to get set up right now for our new game. Well, our old game old called game. What's That? What's That? Hi, I'm your host Tamara, and welcome to another episode of What's That? The guessing game with a twist. We're going to show our teams a series of pictures. So whichever team guesses that photos are the winner, and the loser must pick a suggestion from the challenge chest, and then do that challenge on set. Mm. So let's meet our team, shall we? Let's we have do it. Team Wonderful. Arthur and yes. Team Grandpa. Yay! Team Arthur, yes, yes. yes. Team Please. Arthur, Arthur, your team is up yes. first. Oh, wonderful! You okay, guys, champion. listen, listen, guys. You guys are working together as a team. Okay. So the first picture you're going to see, you have to work together to guess what you think the picture is. So let's right. take a look at the first picture. First picture. Hmm. Okay, uh. Looks like a butterfly. A butterfly. Right. butterfly. Some sort of butterfly, butterfly. or flower. You think it's a butterfly? butterfly. Okay, who thinks it's a butterfly? Well, Me. I kind of think, yes. I kind of think it's a butterfly. Okay. I, I mean, it kind of looks like a flower too, but it, it, I mean, it means flowers. like it has the shape of a butterfly. All right, so we have butterfly and flower. Any other choices? A hot dog. A hot dog. All right, all right, guys. So let's let's do let's see what it really is. Butterfly. It is a dog. Close, but no cigar. It was close, but no cigar. All right, guys. Hey, Keith, can we see picture number two for Grandpa's team? Wait, wait, this is Grandpa's team? Grandpa's then? team, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. That's, I know. I, all right, guys, what do you think it is? A boxer. An arm. A boxer in a ring sounds good. No, no, no. no. Not grandpa. Not grandpa. What? An arm. What? An arm. It's an elbow. Elbow, I got elbow. It's an elbow. It's a burn. No. So, elbow. Final answer. so what's the final answer, guys? Elbow. We'll elbow. elbow. Can we show the reveal? Keith, let's show the reveal. Oh, it's a red thing. Slam dunking a light bulb. Oh, close. So, nobody got any points yet. So, what? now, elbow. again, we have no winners. But we're going to do Arthur's team again. We have another right. picture. Keith, let's show the picture. The picture. Oh, what's that? A cat. Oh. A cat. A cat. That looks like a wolverine. A okay, we got a cat. We heard cat. A cat? What else? A dog. A dog. I mean, a dog. Looks like a duck. I think it's a tarantula. It's a hairy duck. Grandpa, you're not guessing. It's a hairy duck. Okay, what's the final answer? Then we have a final answer. I, I think our final answer is hairy wolf dog answer? tarantula. Hairy wolf dog tarantula for the win. Keith, we have dog. Is it a dog? Let's see. Oh! oh what is it? It's not a not dog. Appropriate. Not appropriate. So we have zero. We still have so zero, sorry. zero, guys. Zero, now, zero. Grandpa has another. just turned 18, right? Gra <laughs> grandpa has another. Grandpa's team has another uh, chance to redeem itself. Okay, so have, team Grandpa. Let's keep show the, the next picture. Team Grandpa. Oh, what's that? A GoPro. It's a robot. GoPro. 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 So is that your final answer? Okay, Keith, their final answer is GoPro. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh, a dog, with a, a dog with a GoPro. So, so, it's a half a point. Half a point. Well, we didn't say dog, close. so I don't think that's a point there, unfortunately. Right. So it's zero, zero still. Now we're going to do uh, one more round. This is the final round. Everybody gets one more right. picture. Every team gets one more picture, okay? So let's one see. Good. Arthur, Team Arthur, let's, let's show the picture, Keith. Oh, what's that? Oh, God. Uh, it's like hair. ice cream to me. A lady's hair. A lady's hair. Walt Disney's mustache. Did I hear body suit? Don't forget, to, you guys have to work together on this one. Oh, 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 oh. Pink. All right, one person at a time. Ladies' hair and a Ladies' hair and a what? You're all wrong. It's the Guggenheim okay. Museum. No, I grandpa. All right. We're gonna go with ladies' hair. Okay, so we're gonna go with ladies' hair. Keith, can we show the reveal? Oh. oh, it's, oh, it's, oh it's, it's a lady. It's a lady. <laughs> You guys I, were sort of right, but not a hundred. That's my girl, Swifty. I just Taylor lost Swift. 40 years. On an ice cream cone. T Swifty. Right. Not so close, but not Swifty. correct. Just riding the line. Now, Grandpa, you. can you pull this out and try to win for the? Let's get a big team, win Grandpa. For team can Grandpa. Can we do this, Team can we Grandpa? Do this? Yeah. All right, we got this. So Keith, let's show the last picture. We got this. Oh, Ew. Coffee looks beans. like coffee beans. Coffee beans. Definitely coffee beans. Yeah. Coffee what do you guys think? In a container. Coffee beans, coffee beans in a container. Beans. Keith, is it coffee beans in a container? Coffee beans in a container. Oh, oh. oh. She's what saying coffee. Is that Nicki instead of, Minaj? Yeah, she's saying coffee instead of oh, she's saying Cardi B. Oh, she's saying Cardi B. Cardi B. Wait, hang on a second. What is she saying? Coffee. 
coffee. Yeah, coffee. Yeah. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Like, she said, <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry to say that ever. nobody actually got what? everything 100% right. Oh, no. so that means each team has to pick from the challenge chest oh. and do the challenge. Let's do this. Let's, Let's do this challenge. Right. So, challenge so, chest. So, so, Tamara, you pick I'm gonna, us. I'm going to pick. I'm just going to go like this, and then I'm going to go like this. So... One person read. So let's read. Wait, right, team, team Arthur, Arthur first. what do you have right, to do? Arthur first. Move tennis ball challenge. Move this ball from one side of the stage to the other without I using your hands. Without using your hands. I know how to do that. I know how to do that. Or feet. I know how to do that. So guys, okay, so we're gonna have that. Arthur, this is Grandpa's challenge. Uh, What's our challenge? challenge? What's your challenge? Our challenge is a human mm -hmm. alphabet challenge. Form letters with their bodies to spell out a word. Oh. Your word is cat. Okay. Hey, I can't wait to see what the challenge is. All right, All right, we can do this. We can do this, right, guys? All right, so Arthur's team first. So Arthur's team's first. Let's see what they come up with. Okay, let's cut. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> I did not say let it out yet. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Let's Try it again. Take right. a deep breath. You'll need it. And let it out. One more time. Let it out. Last time. Let it out. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, we are ready. Okay. Shall we go? So when you're ready, you have, let me see this ball here. So you have to take this ball as a team across the stage without using your hands, arms, or feet. In a game we call Don't Touch the Ball. <laughs> Let's go for it, Okay, yes? so I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to hold it, it here. Give it to the team. and you have to, I have to hold, no, you have to grab it from my oh. hand. Without using your hands. Do it with your you can't strike. You can't. Good job. Now, as a team, you gotta bring it across the stage. <laughs> oh, they're doing wonderful. All you gotta do is bring it over here. I give it to her. Piece of cake. Oh, you dropped it. Oh, it's okay. Like be over here the ball. Okay, okay, here you come stand in front of me. Okay. And then Wes is going to get it. pass it to Wes to yeah, give this guy the end? Pass it to Wes. Come here. Here we go. <laughs> come and get it. <laughs> Do it good. Bring it to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, challenge accepted. Wonderful. Yeah, you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now that was pretty good, but now we're going to check out my team, yes. Team Grandpa. Team Grandpa. The Here we go. Let's get them all set. Good job, Team Arthur. Good job, everyone. This is my team, Team Grandpa. Our challenge was spell the word cat with just our bodies. I think we got it figured out. Let's see. There's our C. Let's see. C first. C. A. Oh, very nice. A. And T. That spells cat. We did it. Yay. Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> team Grandpa is awesome. <laughs> all right, Tim, let's you bring guys. everyone back Let's up bring everybody nice back to do. say thank you guys so much for playing the game. And I guess we didn't win, but you guys were all winners in the challenge. So congratulations, everybody. You're all did the winners challenge in my correctly. Let's have all the kids Monkey back up on stage. Yes, here, thank you here. guys. All right, thank you guys. And thank you again, Monkey News Source. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, my glasses. Never can't see anything. <laughs> Today's audience shout out goes to the Destination Imagination yeah. Team. All right. Thank you guys for joining Thank us. Thank you so and much. And you know what? Here's the deal, guys. If you would like a shout out, you can get one. All you have to do is simply subscribe to our YouTube page to get a shout out. Exactly. And you know, as a bonus, if you feel like it and you're feeling generous, Tamara, did you know that we have our own PayPal do. donation site set up now? We do. It's in the lower third right here. That's right. And you know, every dollar counts and it's truly appreciated so yes. feel free to go to paypal.me yep. backslash the josh and Tamara show also if you want a shout out and you like you want all you have to do is just watch our show and um send us a little email give me a shout out that's right right and you can go to our youtube page at youtube.com backslash the josh and Tamara show <laughs> i would like i would like a shout out okay okay yes do you want to shout out somebody or you want us to shout out you me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's do another. And I would like to give a shout out to Arthur. <laughs> what? Arthur. Shout out. Yeah. What? Let's hear it for Arthur, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what? I never. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Thank you. Wow, they Thank really you. seem to love you, Arthur. Thank you very well, he has much. a sign. I don't know if you can see his sign. Oh, he's, he's, he's holding a sign. Yeah. This is clear. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Um, so, guys, you know, I'm sorry to say we're at the close of yet another yes. show. So thank you all for joining Thank us. But before so we go, it is time once again for Plugorama.
Plugorama! 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 Plug what up, people, from Plugorama? Plug hey. Hot dog, hot dog, Plugorama. All right, Plugorama, Tamara. Well, if you missed any part of this show, all you have to do is go online, which is a link down here, and you can watch it at any point and re replay it on Saturdays at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Sounds like a plan. plug around Arthur! I am going to spend a little bit of my time uh, this weekend with my new puppy. I've named him Clap Clap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Plug around on me. Please check us out online. And I also want to plug everything Patrick Bristow on the internet. Go check yes. out his stuff because he really is truly a talent. And uh, we would like to say once again, thank you thank to you. the Destination Imagination team for being here. Thank the best team ever. The best thank team you. ever. And um, we want to thank everybody here at the White Plains Community Media Facilities and everyone here at Monkey News Source. Mm -hmm. I am Gordon Goodall. And I'm Tamara. And that's Arthur. And that's the, the whole wreck, wreck of, of bananas. bananas.